Previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. What just happened? Uh, what the? Amiguchi? Oh. Hey, it's Yuki chan. I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. <laughs> You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Ah, uh, he's a guy. Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Nani? Where did it go? I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. Ah, uh, crap. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I never have expected you. All right. Changing the screen and getting my mind back to last week. See, everything that I think I knew about this game has just been thrown out of whack after last week. Because, and if you haven't watched the earlier parts of the game, this is spoiler territory, so you've been warned. Last chance to leave now. Okay. So my whole understanding of the series and events and the timeline is completely thrown out of whack. Because my assumption was that there was time f***ery, and indeed there is no time f***ery. They are in different locations rather than different times. And so those flashbacks that we were seeing are just things that were happening in a different sector. And I love that on the top right, take a look. She's missing a sock, so that's Android Tomy. Wow, Tomy's not even in this one. Or maybe she is because she's the singer. <laughs> that was a fun mission. Oh man! So there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot. There's there, there's there's gonna be a lot. All right, forty nine thirty five. So my understanding of the series of events is 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 out of whack. Hopefully there's enough battery on this thing. So if I'm looking at analysis. Tommy's there next to Nenji. If she was the one standing up on the rock, she doesn't have a sock, which means she's Android Tommy. Android Tommy. Okay, so if we go all this, we're not gonna have the time. So we're just gonna look at whoever we're about to play. So who was I gonna play? I was I was thinking Shu Amaguchi we cleared, and that was that was that was wonderful. Uh, who was I planning to play last week? Was I planning to play... I was probably planning to play Yuki, wasn't I? But I don't know if we'll be able to completely finish hers. I was thinking of playing Tomi, actually. Man, this, this is pretty much everyone that I was planning to play. She's locked behind Yuki's. Jura Karabe event. <laughs> her one's gonna get finished. See, her story's gonna be quite interesting. And I also kind of want to do Jiro Kurabe, and I also want to do her one. Yeah, you're connected. You're connected. So Ryoko's connected. So let's take a look at Ryoko's really quickly. Her story's f because her memory's f So that's not even entirely her fault. So her first one is basically her looking for her parents, and Juro Izumi goes to fight. Then she's back here, where she likes Senpai. Senpai's a d by the way. And then we have this, where we think he's going to die, but he doesn't. Then we have this, where she gets bailed out from the cops. And then we have this, where she won't let him escape. So she thinks he's 426. He's not. So now we know who 426 is. Entire world shit. She's basically here. He tries to stop her. They come back here. Yuki gets involved. 
And her timeline is not that long, it's just that her memory's f so it's fragmented. And then we're back here, Yuki does the slub squad. The pilot's mark is revealed. We're trying to find the D command, so she's in there. The threat Sentinel-20 falls near the park. Amaguchi gets out of the Sentinel, she happens to be nearby. SOS, she basically pulls a gun on him, which was last week. They go to the outer walls. All is revealed, he gets in the Sentinel and flies away, she's inside. Ida vs Amaguchi. Nothing basically happened, except he lost because he didn't actually do anything. Just like Mr. Ida, because he is Mr. Ida, well, in the other timeline at least, or at least the OG one. When she wakes up in the bed in the nurse's office, Amaguchi's next to her, he sees that she's alright, leaves the nurse's office. A record and an ampoule. Ryoko finds Yori Fuisaka in the nurse's office. Shinonome remembers the day she discovers a used ampole under Fuyusaka's pillow and the medication record of both herself and Fuyusaka on Miss Moimura's desk. That's the little gun for the nanos. And then we have these ones. Whew. When you get a reveal like that, it sticks with you. Because it's not minor. And, and, then, and then a lot of the things that you knew crashes around your brain. And then you're suddenly like, wait, that means this, that means this, that means this. So all those circuits in your brain just fire off again. Everything's refreshed for the most part that you remember. And then this entire new thing is built on top of it. it it's just nuts. Shinshu Amaguchi somehow reminded Ryoko Shinonome of Tetsuya Ida and caused her to recall an important past event regarding Ida. <laughs> <laughs> there is a little bit of flashbacking back and forth because she's recalling things, but Ryoko's entire memory is fragmented, so that's fair. <coughs> Poor thing. Like, she's f***ed. With the amount of pills she's popping, I don't even know what the go is going to be with her. Because my assumption was at the beginning that the pills were the things suppressing her memory. Now they seem to be the only thing keeping her in check. I'm gonna move this a little bit. And the video cassettes that were being handed around, which I thought before were the other timelines basically merging into one, are not. They're just basically memories of other people being subliminally encoded to be experienced as dreams. Which is more far-fetched than, you know, your consciousness from other timelines which was terminated, merging with another consciousness of yourself in another timeline. <laughs> I mean, encoding dreams in videotapes is a lot more far fat. Like, who's encoding them? But anyway. Of course. There is, there is a lot of sci-fi happening here. Easy. Take your time. When am I? <laughs> Do you know where you are? <laughs> yes, but when am I? <laughs> no, literally. I, I know where we are, but I don't know when in this wacky timeline we are. It wasn't a dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. Yes. I wonder where she got the idea for that. Liquid! She wants to change both me and Iori Fuyusaka into different people. Okay, but who do they want to change you into? That's the real question, because I've only seen one you. I can't believe what Morimura says. Izumi-kun. He has the same symptoms as I do. Yeah, except his ones are like ten times more stable. Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. Run away? Why do I need to run? Say Sekigahara. Aikun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi, Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. And here's the fun part about the whole thing about us not being in different points in time, but rather different spaces. <laughs> it throws my whole who the f is the cat thing out of the window. Because it's less about... From which timeline is the cat, and more so, which person who lost the body is the cat? 
because we know you can put your consciousness in an android by retaining i believe the brain or something like that but then we found that you can take it from an android into a body but then we found that that's just a memory transfer not a consciousness transfer but then if you can transfer the consciousness from a human to an android and then from an android to a human again what's to stop you from doing it to a cat but then again the cat keeps disappearing so that could be either a few things it could either be that the cat is someone's figment of their imagination due to a projection with the nanomachines f***ing in the circuits in their brain and basically firing off electrical signals to say that there is indeed a cat in front of them when there isn't a cat in front of them because our brain circuits are just electrical you know discharges of shit that tell us there is something in front of us right so if you've got nano machines they could probably easily fake that so the cat might not even be a cat right the person could be in the room with you the entire time you just can't perceive them because your nano machines don't let you like that's how deep we might go in this it, it is f***ed. i mean f these five sections might not even be the world we could be on a giant donut because nano machines, son. God. This is what happens when you f with nano machines. You've basically opened the door to doing whatever the f you want. Because it's uncharted territory. It's the Deus Ex Machina of sci fi. Except it is somewhat realistic in that we are actually working on the technology and it makes rational sense. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40 year intervals. So he can't travel freely. Yeah. <laughs> this was a lie. Pills. These pills are hard to swallow. Truth pills it's usually the only are. way these headaches will go away. If Aseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? It was Juro from one of the older timelines, or possibly the OG one. Mr. Ida. Is a dick. He didn't die in 2064. Nope. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Someone wanted you to forget. These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. Hmm. Yes, this one's staying, the other ones are not. <sighs> My head. It hurts. Oh, God. She's already popping pills. Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? Okay, so this is a check to see whether or not her memory and personality is the her associated with 1985. I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Yeah, she's beyond fucked. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. Uh-huh. Are they even my memories? Make me feel a little better. Until you freaking die of liver failure. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone. Are you alright? <laughs> no? You should get some rest. No. You don't need to worry about me. You don't get rest from playing this game. You stay up all night drawing whiteboards and collecting, uh, connecting strings. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40 year intervals. Mr. Ida. About Mr. Ida, where is he? He dead or what? Let's go. He's been missing ever since the battle in 2024. You don't remember? We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. This is this this is this just teaches and highlights the importance of not accepting things as they're told to you and always asking questions. I accepted the fact that they called it time travel without even questioning it. And it was a frickin' lie. There must be some sort of clue. I mean, why was time travel easier to believe than 
transportation. I mean, transportation would be easier to achieve. But then we go into the conversation of if someone walks into a transportation portal in one area and is transported to another, are you actually being transported or are you being deconstructed and reconstructed on an atomic level? In which case you cease to exist as an individual and you are recreated as an individual. How does your consciousness travel from A to B? So this is going to get too deep. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put down the shovel for now. Something that happened in 2064. Uh. Oh, what the hell is this? Surveillance footage. Nurse's office one, but we're in nurse's office too. Which puts us here, to the staircase, which pushes us here. What? By the vending machine. So I basically have to exit and then go to the staircase and I won't get the interrogation flashback because I've had that, but I'll have this one. Okay. Thank you, this thing that tells me where I need to go because this game is reusing things so much. I love being followed. Where are you going? To progress the story. Stop following me. That's not happening. Ah, the all-knowing linear line collecty thingy. Run away, eh? All right, a wild distraction. He's Ragi son. Can I talk to you? <gasps> Gato senpai. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? No, oh, I'm sorry, but I must be going. Shit, I'm out of here. I. Why am I not running away? I don't see them. Oh God damn it! You had one job. Kisaragi-san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto senpai. Go back to doing your job. Is there something I can help you with? Distraction talk. Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? No, no. What kind of you like? Did you just well, tell me to run? I. What do you do on your day off? Oh, distracted. Come on, did you? Rather not say. <laughs> it hurts. Do you like sweet senpai? No, no. What kind of you like? Well, I. What do you do on your day Run, girl. Cool yard vending machines? Okay, then I gotta go the other way. Oh, no. What, what sort of women do you like? What? I... <laughs> <laughs> okay. And we don't go by the vending machines, we go here and we won't get an interrogation flashback. Sweet. Ooh, exam. A posting about club member recruitment. Yay! Something that I've never done before. That doesn't concern me. Shit, that's not gonna progress this. <sighs> <laughs> you know assets are reused when you need to use this to tell you what to do. But I took my pills. Shoo! Shoo! Senpai, are you alright? No, I'm fucked. This isn't right. I just took some. I told you. Who are you? Come on, senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. Leave me alone. Oh, damn it. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then... So this is suppressing your memories of him. Why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. No, that's like the last place I need to go. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. See? Better now. Except your memory. Well, what did I want to talk to him about? Uh... 
Okay, so I can't talk to him, it seems. Then I guess I just keep progressing this way. Cafeteria? I never made it this far without the flashback. Yuki, I guess? Empty. No, there's Yuki. I guess they're done selling. <sighs> My head. Jesus! It hurts. I think you've developed a tolerance. Oh. It's empty. Well, now you're that fucked. Was the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. You literally just got the thing. The nurse's <sighs> office should have some. That girl. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Bingo, I hear music. Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? Wait, is she getting played by both sides? Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida, from the Special Investigations Unit. <laughs> Mr. Ida? But why would he... You really don't remember? So Ida's making her do one thing, Moimura's making her do another. Hmm. What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Flashback time. <laughs> Classic. Yes! Ah, oh, this is a repressed memory. So it's less about nanomachines and more to do with actual trauma. And there's Mr. Monokuma version 1.0 on the left. Oh. What in the hell? Did we shoot him? Right, so he used us to tell- Right, now I know where we are. Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Yes, you did. Dick move, by the way. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. Ugh. But... You having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. And this is female logic in a nutshell. If a girl likes you and you are using her, she does not care. But if you like someone else while you're using her, then there's a problem. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, but teenage girls, oh my god. Well, he sees you as clones of people. Like, he sees you as literal iterations of the same thing. And there was one iteration before you that went to shit. And he doesn't look like he cares now, does he? So, I mean, you know what I mean? Also, you could have a do over with her. Shinonome kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. I mean, what? Next you're gonna tell me that she's the female version of you. Because during the cloning process, you got bored and you're like, you know what we need? A female me. Cause fuck it. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> you're confused. No shit. You need to take your pills and calm down. Everyone keeps telling me to take the pills. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. Wait, you can deactivate stun mode? W wait, Shinonomekun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. And see what I mean by women? They will get you killed. Okay, so you killed him. So he's dead now. Well, that changes things. 
But did you see a body? Because until I have a confirmed kill, I'm not accepting shit. Is that the memory you've been trying to repress this entire time? Okay, so there's no confirmation that he's actually dead. No. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Probably is no in this game. Might even be dead. Hopefully. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw a recording. A recording of what? No. I don't want to remember. Yes, you do. We're almost out of time. I don't want to. Remember, damn it. Ryoko is basically. I need to hurry. Ryoko is basically a VHS tape at the today. moment. Like, that is literally what she is for us right now. We are using her as a VH VHS tape. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is... Research on AI? Mm-hmm. The data's gone. Okay, so 426 erased it. Strange. The log just ends here? Well... And on that day, Skynet was born. The most recent log is from three years ago. Well, that's a lot of time to do a lot of shit. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Oh, crap. You got a good shot? I'm gonna run out, aren't I? Let's see if I can get it perfectly. Damn it, there was a delay. I wanted to line them up. Good thing I had my gun. Watch, you're gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> Good thing I had my gun. She must be American. What's love? That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. Did you? Surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. Ah, now you're thinking. The research logs have been erased. I won't find anything, no matter how hard I look. But what about surveillance camera? The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Hmm. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. You don't say. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the logs. Imagine deleting the logs but leaving the footage that you deleted the logs. Okay, this is before the AI went rogue. I apologize for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. Ah, right. It's after 426 took it. I'm sorry. You made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. You know what? That is just weird. I'm not even touching on that subject. I'll make you another. Right away. Ah, oh, that is so disturbing in so many ways. You should make bodies for the others instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? They're in the Sentinels, aren't they? So you're aware. 
You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. By putting our bodiless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. And then once they're piloted by someone from another sector, we get some memory fuckery happening via nanomachines. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. And wouldn't the other ones? Or is this the only one you care about? Because your penis. Seriously, this guy's a fucking simp! It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Wow, that's such a nice thing to say. Well, I mean, their lives were fucked anyway, so they'll be fine, you know? Fuck them. <laughs> but you, my delicate little music singing live streaming flower, you I will protect by refusing to let you die. Wow, how lovely. You you are really protecting your queen there, buddy. Jesus Christ. You can look at me. I'm not Tommy Kisaragi anymore. I mean, even the fucking AI you built to replicate Tomi is telling you that it's not Tomi, but you're refusing to accept it. I mean, when you're at that level of fucked, you're basically screwed. <laughs> Dude, you need to let go. What if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi? Oh, God. Everything will be back to normal. How is that normal? My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Yukun. Tell me. Please. Put me into a sentinel. <sighs> I'll think about it. And then she somehow ended up on the video cassette. Sorry, anyway, the television. I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Wow, really? So the AI doesn't let you do what you want to do, so you're just going to shut off the power? Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. You do realize you're like... I mean, this is beyond stalking. You, you are... <laughs> you are bad. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. Sam! It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start... Oh, God. None of this would have happened. Dude, if you just accepted the fact that she actually died, none of this would have happened. Like, literally. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. It's not consciousness data, it's fucking memories. There's a di- No. What if we just start over from the beginning? Ah. Uh. From that day. Ladies and gentlemen, case in point, the dangers of not being able to accept reality as it is and moving on from the experience. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. God fucking damn it. She'd never have to know. Of course. This is the dangers of misinterpreting love for possession. It's not that you actually care about her. It's that you actually want her. That's why you can't let go. Because someone dying is someone themselves losing who they are. And then it is a loss via association. Whereas in your case, you're seeking the possession of another person and you're refusing to let them go because you want to own them. It's... I mean, you are in fact an abuser. <laughs> in a very fucked up technological way, but you are an abuser. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. I, I mean, given how much of his life he's actually just given to this thing, I don't even know if there's any way to get him out of it. I mean, what the fuck else does he have besides his AI research 
to bring Tomy into a body so he could do what with her? What exactly do you want to do? And if you tell me you just want to sit around and listen to us sing, we both know that's bullshit. This is just bad. So this is how humanity dies. One fucking simp. That's what it takes to end the world. A fucking simp. Wow. And I thought it was going to be the SJWs to take us down in the end. But in fact, he is kind of an SJW. In a way. I mean, he's more successful than SJWs because typically they don't know shit about technology or research. But this guy seems to have figured that part out at least. And fucked everyone in the process. God damn it. Ryoko Shinonome recalled the time she bid farewell to Tetsuya Ida when he was trying to reset the world in order to save Tomi Kisaragi. Oh yes, she shot him. But he might be alive. Because we don't have a confirmed kill. Because you know how that works, right? <coughs> so this whole thing, back from last week, is because a girl died and a simp refused to accept the fact that she died. I mean, that's kind of the line that I'm drawing here. And then countless clones were created, countless clones sacrificed to try to recreate a situation in which you can bring Tomi back. I mean, come on, man. And then you've got Izumi that's fighting to stop you, obviously. Or, at the very least, get rid of you. But... It's just... My god. This is fucked. Everyone's here is basically a clone. Well, I don't know. Ryoka could be a clone. She might not be a clone. I have no... I have... I have no... But... Damn. Man, this is just playing with God on so many levels. In a controlled 30 kilometer environment. And he still managed to fuck it up. My God. Ryoko Shinonome recalled the time she bid farewell to Tetsuya Ida when he was trying to reset the world in order to save time. So you fucked up that 2065, didn't you? Sure. Easy. Take your time. Crap, I'm back here again. Nurse's office one. Why not? Thank God I have you, little decision tree. You are the only thing helping me make sense of this thing. If I didn't have you, I would be fucked. Do you know where you are? I mean, technically. But what, is, what does that even mean anymore? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? <laughs> 426. He got away from me. Oh, you shot Tetsuya Ida. I won't let him escape next time. I see. Alright. Okay, so we said something that doesn't align and this thing hit us. Is that what's triggering it? The real memory wanting to come back? How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. Okay, we'll go back there. That's completely fine. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokuna's information on the boys. You can consult with him. I don't care about that. I can't go on. My head... Alright, go to the gate. I can't go to the gate. Fuck. I need to go back. 
You can't time travel right now. But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. Take it easy, all right? Are you all right? Who are you? Hmm. Mm. Miss Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. Mm. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> mm. It's a pleasure to be working with you. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. All because of that damn simp. I don't have the list. Therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. I'm gonna be stuck here, aren't I? Because I asked for that stupid list. I don't need any help. I can do this on my own. It's too dangerous for you. Please, go with him. This isn't 2065. You will follow my orders. Gotokun, I leave her to you. You'll follow my orders or I'll drug you until you follow my orders. Understood. We're counting on you. No wonder you got shot by 426. It's a pleasure to be working with you. I can't even leave this place, can I? Oh, fuck. So I just get screwed using this, then. Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder, why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so, I sense your hatred stems from something else. The reason for your animosity towards 426. I would like to hear about it. I don't know, actually. Um. Well, run away. I have the surveillance footage. I have the surveillance footage. I'm. It wasn't a dream, Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. No shit. They said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me here. <sighs> Probably. They said the gates but what if it's a Mr. Ida, he didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Helped you or lose or used you? Yay! Just punch him in going? the Just punch him in the dick, he won't be moving for a while. To the gate. With him following me. And no distraction. Why is the gate already active? Who was just here? Who the hell was just here? It was Mr. Monokuma, wasn't it? The bastard. Great. So the one that can unlock the gate was um, Fuyusaka, wasn't it? What are you doing? You're just an old Fuyusaka. Morimura. I locked the gate. Of course you did. You won't be able to use it. I knew it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Can we just stab her? Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore! Who told you that? 
I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. She, I love the disassociative language. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> Lol, I forgot about that part. <laughs> this is what happens when you wait a week in between things. Which is why they started using the technological replication of your memories instead. <laughs> Those pills you've been taking. It's just slowing down the process. They inhibit that separation. Right, I love how I forgot that crucial detail. Oh yeah, Kuma's getting that again. No, no, they thank They try to preserve the link. Thank you, I had the other guy tell but me that. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. <laughs> Shit. Why didn't you try to come up with another drug then? Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. You what? <sighs> you were the cause of the infection. What? You inserted the code that 426 created. Willingly, or...? No. Just more lies. It's true. Why, though? Goto... Is it because he used her, and then she did it out of spite? Did everything get fucked because she was spiteful? Really? This all came crashing down because a teenage girl didn't get her senpai? Oh my god. So the world got destroyed by a simp and a teenage girl. God damn it! <laughs> so this is how humanity dies. Because of a sip at a teenage girl. Ah! What a way to go. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. You couldn't hold on to the memory. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. I like how it's just zooming out. Do I get another memory? Yes, I do! Oh, no bandage! No bandage, this is pre-head splitting. Mr. Ida. For you to ask for me personally? Wait, is she your daughter or is she your female clone? I mean, that's like the two questions I have, because she has similar hair color to you. I can't tell you how happy it made me. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. An interlocitor update? Code DD426. Mm -hmm. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. Meaning? But there exists a code to fix it. A flaw? If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. Sounds sus. Mori Morison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Uh, why is she like that? I love how he frames this conversation. I believe this, and I'm the smart one, but she doesn't believe this because she is like that. So, you know, that's the logic I'm using. She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. If only everyone was as understanding as you. Yes, if only everyone was as easy to manipulate as a teenage girl with pumping hormones she doesn't understand. This is why you're a simp. Jesus Christ. I want us to give this code a try. It'll be our little secret, of course. Oh, this is so fucking rapey. How do I... Oh, I even forgot this was a thing. How do I... How do I even... I forgot the screenshot button. 
Damn, my brain must have had the code or some crap. And then Morimura-san will see who was right. Really? All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. You're pathetic, you realize this, right? She's never gonna sleep with you! Even if you create an android version of her, she'll still say no. How many times have you actually tried and been rejected? Be honest. Is it the double digits? It's the double digits, isn't it? It's the double digits. No matter how many times you reset her memory to a past iteration, she's still gonna reject you. Cause you're a simp! Sims are basically like microwaves. They're just there to heat your food. No one actually wants them around or cares about them. And once they stop working, you just get another one. That's what a simp is. A tool. No one enjoys a simp. No one cares how the simp feels. It's just how it is. Ryoko-san. What was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Wow, nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. Wow, look at the emotional manipulation. Jesus, this kid's playing it at a high level. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it! Ah! I'll put DD426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. What, to unlock his potential? You basically fucked him. And now, Akun will know it too. Oh God! Ah, oh, fucking teenage girls! God damn it! It's like teenage girls are more mature than guys, unless their hormones are pumping. It, okay, so here's my theory now. Remember how I keep saying teenage girls are a lot more mature than guys, and guys are idiots? Well, it turns out teenage girls are idiots when their hormones start pumping. So maybe the reason why teenage girls appear more mature is because when guys are stupid they do it in front of everybody whereas when girls go stupid they do it behind closed doors and end up fucking the world how about that after you shifted you went missing it took a long time to get you back when we finally did your condition was already terminal we've been able to keep it at bay with the medication wow Ida really cared about your you. memories has already begun he just used you and threw you away for you we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines but it hasn't gone well we thought if we let you roam free that your memories would stabilize however your memories kept failing it only made you become further detached from reality even still it is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Oh, so she remembers what the source code was. Because only you know the password. Oh, there's a password. Gotcha. We don't have much time. Please. You must remember. Stop! It's all my fault. It can't be. Denial is the first stage. So that's why they were doing it. Huh. You're awake. Who are you? Ouch. I can basically hear it from here. Ouch. Try and remember. Oh, okay. He's been hurt before. Ouch. <laughs> that's an even bigger ouch. I mean, Moimura looks like that doctor before she's about to tell the patient and her guest about the terminal diagnosis. Akon? And Renya's just here for the free food during lunchtime. That's right. Holy shit, did I just remember his name? How did that happen? I... 
I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, right. I need to find... What was I looking for again? Shit, this has more holes than Swiss cheese. I can't remember. Oh yeah, she fucked. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. More importantly, how are you feeling? Aww. Aww, that's sweet. Wow. I feel good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. Ugh. Maybe it's just not possible. It's like, hmm, do we keep prodding her memory, trying to get her to remember and making her suffer? Or do we let her just die peacefully and then reality's fucked? The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. Shit. <sighs> but can't you just get into the nanomachines and see what data they hold? Or what, do you not have that? The memories you implanted in her, what are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident? No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. Wow. So all she knows is how to control the sentinel. And doesn't remember jack shit about you. Ouch! Like, how much fucking data are we talking about here? Like, how much money did you save? And if you say a few dollars, I'ma just slap you here. Ryoko-san. I'ma just grab that pen sitting on the table and deflate your giant balloons. Seriously. The password to remove the infection. Gone. Along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. What is it? And if you say the power of friendship, I swear to God. A further exposure to the infection, and there's no guarantee you'll survive. Well, fucking if you do nothing, you're gonna die anyway. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me. By Mr. Ida. Aww. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. <laughs> it sucks. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Why is life so unfair? <laughs> I think this is the first time we actually see it go in. Ah! <laughs> Great. Destruction is not going to be nearly as fun as I thought it would be. Oh, man! Oh, man! I hate that fucking song. Every time there's something sad, they just play that song. And it's like, oh, it's a valiant sacrifice. It's okay, I accept my fate. And it's like, really?! You accept this shitty reality and everything that it's done to you that you don't even remember because you've been fucked so many times? It sucks! All because one fucking got rejected by a girl and then he kept trying to bring her back. Like, literally. I. That c I. I just want to stab him. I legit just want to stab him. It, 
God damn it! Ryoko Shinonome received a harsh truth about from Moimura and Renya Goto. By the time the final battle began, Shinonome had lost the majority of her memories and activated a sentinel. So this is basically what we're going through in destruction. And not even realizing that it's a fucking ticking thing of just erasing her from existence. Oh yeah, we can't do more than three matches in a row. It's like, oh yeah, I am also tired and need to take a power nap. Oh, by the way, we forgot to mention, Ryoko is literally dying. So the entire battle is just a countdown to her death. Oh, okay, that's really nice. Nice to know. So the girl whose memory has been Swiss cheese this entire game is even more fucked. See, sometimes I wish time fuckery was a thing so we could go back in time and stab the c Cause he deserves it. Seriously, he does. After everything that he's done, I'm at the point of saying you should just stab him. And that's it. Fuck him. So he just keeps trying to bring Tomi back, even though she's dead. Keeps creating clones, disregarding them, not even treating them as things that are alive. Despite them having memories, and feelings, and actually living. Oh, and then it's like, oh, this reality sucks. Tomi's not working. I'm gonna just destroy it, and go to the next one. I- Yeah, I- Oh my- Shoo! Were you fucked by a goat or something? Like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously? How do you get- Ah! She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? His real name is Sukasa Okino. Oh! He wears that stuff for his own reasons. That was a guy? Don't joke about that! <laughs> you were just trying to confuse me. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!